Hello everybody. Well, today we're on another ramble and I hope you guys will enjoy it. We are in Pine Mountain, Georgia and this is a natural pool that was erected by our 32nd president Franklin Delano Roosevelt during his time in office. This pool is a natural pool. The water comes down from a stream out of the mountains and flows out at the other end. Um, it is called the Liberty Pool and it is a man-made pool and it was built with picks and shovels and axes. <laughs> so it was hard work back in those days to build this pool. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the pool view and we're going to see some more views of Pine Mountain here in a few minutes. As a child swimming here, I can tell you firsthand that this is super, super cold water. Uh, when it's 101 degrees like it is here today, uh, I'm sure these people are really enjoying it. But when you first hit that water, it's like <gasps> your whole body just draws up from the cold. <laughs> <clears throat> These are some of the views from Pine Mountain. I don't know if it looks steep, but Pine Mountain is a fairly steep, uh, high mountain for around here. You can see the, the mountain terrain way back over there in the distance. I hope you guys can see it anyway. another overview of the mountain. Way over there. I don't know if you guys can see the bird flying. There's a big light down there. Hey everybody, we are here at Dowell's Knob. Dowell's Knob is a famous place that President Roosevelt visited a lot and wrote a lot of his speeches at while he was in office. He was our 32nd president. I hope you will enjoy the views here from Pine Mountain.
This is a barbecue grill that President Roosevelt had erected when he was in office here. And he would have big sit-down dinners with linen and <laughs> silver and the whole nine here on the mountain. When I was a little girl, my family came here and we would have barbecues in this very same grill. It has today been closed in with cement. They said it's to preserve it, but I think it was to keep... A lot of it was to keep people from build, having fires because a fire got out here at one point in time. Okay, right here, we're going to walk up here on this hill and look at this flagpole and also look at the uh, statue that was erected of the president here where he used to sit and look at everything. Um, two days before he died, he had his Secret Service bring him here and he was writing, trying to write a speech and he spoke of that speech in his last words on the on this mountain and he died before this speech was ever given. This statue was erected, and it is a very good likeness of our president here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this, and don't forget to um, like on this video for me, and help me out, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are enjoying it. This um, flagpole was erected for... Uh, by an Eagle Scout troop, I think it was Troop 40, and it was erected for several fellows, and please feel free to stop this video and um, take a good look so you will see who these people were. It's very important to me. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a frequent visitor. He made 41 trips to Warm Springs from 1924 to 1945. Dowell's Knob was one of his favorite spots for both quiet contemplation and picnics. FDR visited this spot overlooking Pine Mountain Valley as a private citizen and as the governor of New York and as the 23rd or 32nd president of the United States. He wanted more people to visit the area and urged the building of the scenic highway across Pine Mountain and the construction of the spur here in 1937. President Roosevelt had a grill built to help him enjoy picnics in his more formal style. He preferred linen draped tables with hot dishes served from silver in place of the blanket. <laughs> he preferred to sit on a chair or an automobile seat placed on the ground. Roosevelt was crippled in case you guys didn't know. He came here to contemplate the upcoming founding of the United Nations and the Americans dying in Okawana and in Correct Germany pronunciation during his final a, trip to Warm Springs in 19... Ooh, 19... in 1945. This uh, plaque was erected in 1984. 
This Rocky Knob called Dowell's Knob is a 1,395 feet above sea level. It offered the second president, the 32nd president, a respite from the rigors of running a country. It was a favorite picnic spot for Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and its stunning vistas provided a place of relaxation and contemplation for Franklin, for Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Many of distinguished guests, guests have died, dined atop this knob with the president during his lifetime, and its natural beauty and tranquility remains practically the same unchanged since the time of Roosevelt.